Yum, yum. G'day, g'day, g'day. This is Matt uh, for Pixel Fondue. And today I am going to show you how I set up this face selector to help me animate or pick the command regions on Hector's face here. You might have seen my YouTube channel. I've been working on Hector's face uh, rigging and everything over the past couple of months. So I thought I'd show here on Pixel Fondue, I'd show how I've been creating this face selector. So I can choose which command region I need to adjust because there, is, there are a lot and it is a bit difficult to remember where each one is. You can still uh, select it straight in here because I know that that's the twist. That's the twist on this side as well. But sometimes you get into situations where it's like uh, you've got different characters and they have different command regions around the mouth. So uh, you need, well, I use a selector here to help me um, remember where each command region is. Like so. There we go. So I am using an ozone rig here on uh, Hector's face here uh, to have a look at ozone. Go to the kite string online and uh, check out what it's all about there. Uh, and also, you'll need to have a look at uh, Kai's uh, website from Japan uh, to understand the uh, selector here. He's put a tutorial up here. Uh, you might need to translate it, but it shows you how a, the selector is set up in Japanese, but I've uh, customized it for my facial rig here. So to begin with, we need to uh, look at the command regions. I've actually gone through how to set up command regions on one of my ch tutorials on my YouTube channel. So if you get time, please check it out. These command regions are affecting the ozone input here. And the command regions are set up here with a command selector. So for example, typing command here, oh, command, uh, polygon command region is what this is here. If you select that, you can see it comes up in the viewport here. So that's the swing, comes up there, and that's the drop, comes up there, drop for the jaw, front and back for the jaw, and the twist for the jaw, which is correlated to here in the selector. So open, front, back, swing, twist, drop, like so. So these names are very important to remember because you're taking these names and the web viewer that Kai had done the tutorial, you can download it here, so this one here, you can download and bring it into Dreamweaver or your HTML editor of your choice. Uh, so it, it's like a, a normal HTML web page, and uh, all this stuff at the top you don't really need to adjust or change or anything like that, but you will need to adjust or put in your mapping uh, of for the background, which you can just take a screenshot of the face and uh, just in Photoshop putting all these names and everything, or the text on top of that. And then these things here, are all in uh, Kai's example. Uh, so you just need to uh, customize it to yourself. So for here, we can see that open, if we click on that, we can see that this is uh, highlighted. The way to get the coordinates here is to use a thing that's called the image map generator. This is also a link on uh, Kai's webpage. And then you bring in your, or just drag and drop in your file here. And then you go, okay, so I want to put in a button here, like so, and you can get the coordinates like that. Copy the coordinates. So in here, just paste that. And 
you will now have a button for those coordinates there. Now, this JavaScript here, that's from Kai's thing, so you don't need to worry about that. The one thing that you do need to worry about is the select item and then the name of the command region, which is here. And then this stuff here is all from Kai's example. And then you just need to put a name in at the end. So that's just draw up and down or open there. So you get the command region name here from here. So you can just go rename, copy that, and then paste it in there like so. So that will give, give you the command regions buttons to help you find the command regions here. Okay, so once you've gone through all of the command regions, it does take a bit of time. You have a lot here to go through. Believe you me, it does help in the long run because it does get a bit confusing of where things are around here. So like that's right up and down, it's there. So you can go in there like so, or where's the middle, where's the, the mid point? You're not sure where that is. You can go oh, mid, up and down, right there. So just do that. So that is uh, very helpful when working with the command regions for rig clay there. Now, what I have here on the side is you need to be able to edit the graphs that these keyframes make. So if we bring in graph editor here and deselect everything, when you do some keyframes, like let's have a look at, just do a, a blink. So we have that and we'll do move along two frames and just close that door. Just right click. I do I go into how to do command regions and the right click on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out there. And then we can just sort of open that again here. Open that, open that there like so. Okay, so we have, have a blink there, but we need to see the keyframe graph down here. So I've made a button up here, eyelid, and that selects all of the math nodes that are here that are got plugged straight into here. So the command regions affect the math node, multiplied it by a certain number and that goes plugs into the channel and that uh, drives, ch changes the expressions. So we need to somehow select all of the channels that are related to certain parts of the face so we can adjust the curves as we want. So if we go click the eyelid, we can go in here and we can change the graph how we want. No problems like that. So that's why it's easy to set up a selection set for each one of these and it will select all the keyframes that have been animated. So to set that up again, it's just going back into Dreamweaver, making a selection set of that. So eyelid set here, um, and that's a batch. Make sure that you've got the command, which is a batch, uh, and then select drop item. So once it's selected and you select something else, it drops the item. And then you do the normal select item here that you've done in all the other command regions. You put it in these uh, curly brackets and as many as you want, you can do that and I've done quite a few here. There is a limit to how many you can put in, but um, you should be able to put in quite a lot. So that way we select the, say for example, the jaw. We can see all the keyframes that are related to the jaw here. We can uh, keyframe more like so, and we can, um, oh yeah, we can, for example, uh, close it, close his mouth, adding more keyframes there, and we can adjust how we want from there like so. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is how the command regions selection selector is done. Ah, I forgot to mention how I get this. So what you do, once you've got your HTML file 
completed with Dreamweaver. You save it in a folder and then you create a macro for that. So going down here, start the macro, go to layout, palettes, uh, new palette, and go in here, application web view. That brings up this, which is this window here. And then in here, you put in the uh, location of your HTML file and then always open to home page click that and go to home page and then click on stop save that file that you've just made that macro that you've just made and then so I have set up a, a command region on his top of his head here which I can right click and it will bring up that palette easily for me to use so to do that, just go into the command uh, to the uh, schematic. Where are we? Here we go. Select the polygons that you want to right click on. Put it, that into a region gesture and use the right click gesture. Put that into the command region command. And then in that com command region command, uh, you need to type in where the LXM file or the macro that you have saved and just put at mark at the front and that will run the macro and the macro will bring up the windows. Easy as that. So bang, right click, there we go, macro. And that is how I have set up his, <laughs> his uh, command regions for his face. Let's just bring him back here that down here give him a there let's bring these insides in a bit yeah so inside on that side that one just helps you to find them there's so many of them it's like oh yeah just helps you to don't need to use it all the time but it does give you an idea a better idea of where they all are. There we go. Nice big smile. Okay, I hope that helps. So I'll put some links into the description. Uh, be sure to check out, where are we? My website uh, for other, like setting up the rig clay and uh, testing some of these mouth and controls here and some other animation that I've been doing and putting up onto my YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, I hope that helps. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Yum, yum.